Hello Facebook people, I'm Konstantinos and today we're going to analyze why the new Pixel Ad accounts are in better position now with all the new changes that Meta has done to the ad accounts. So, we used to have advantage shopping campaigns which means that we were doing only broad targeting and it was the main thing that we were doing, focusing on the creatives. This was a little bit problematic for the new ad accounts and if you remember, I have done videos over here saying that you should do normal campaigns with interest and then try to go to lookalikes and then try to go to broad, but uh, maybe advantage shopping campaign is not going to work for you. ASC, as we were calling it back then. ASC now is now another thing. The problem was that basically we were targeting broad targeting and uh, the pixel wasn't uh, ready enough to target on broad. If you were living in a small country, it wouldn't be an issue, but in bigger countries like United States, it was an issue and we were not able to actually train our pixels in the most cost efficient way by using advantage shopping campaigns. Advantage shopping campaigns now have been removed and we have the advantage sales campaigns. They have been unified in one thing. Uh, in my opinion, the new thing which is considered advanced shopping campaigns is not the same. They're not working as the previous advanced shopping campaigns. But uh, anyway, we have some new settings on the further defined area that we're going to be able to control better who we're going to target. For example, in the previous setup with the advanced shopping campaigns, if you had a makeup company and you wanted to do broad advanced shopping campaign, you were not able to target only women, for example, and you had to target also men, which was problematic when you had a new pixel. So let's go into my PC. Let's see the new settings and why they give us more power to train our pixel in the best possible way. And uh, I will see you there. Hi guys, I would like to interrupt this video in order to talk to you about my Facebook ads course. It took me six months of video editing everything and three months of video shooting. And because of that, I have created the best Facebook ad course in the world. Inside, you're going to find super advanced information, but information also for beginners. It takes you by the hand in order to teach you how to do Facebook ads from the beginner level to super advanced level. It has inside Loom videos from cost caps, speed caps, Loom videos from CBO, ASC optimization. It has chosen five sessions, inner circle sessions, and it has a lot of theory with whiteboard, also strategies that are working all of these years, things that I have developed developed, things that I know that they're working because I have spent millions and millions on the platform. Currently, I'm spending between 5 and 10 million every month, sometimes it's even more, across 30 accounts, and I have access to many, many more. So I know what is currently working and all the latest trends, and this is what I'm doing inside the course. I'm showing you live ad accounts with real spend and what is working right now. And if you want, you can click the link below, you can go and you can check some videos that I have open free for you, so that you can check if you like the course or not and decide if you want to buy it or not. I will see you there. Okay, let's create one campaign so that you can see what I'm talking about. So the new unified style that we have is that when we create that, we don't have the option anymore for manual or for advanced shopping campaign. We have one option over here on the top, okay? Let's go over here and uh, just for the sake of that, we will go over here immediately to the controls uh, to the uh, audience over here. You can see advanced plus is on and stuff, but we have the further limit, okay? Let's switch it up. This is something that most companies are, uh, that they have new pixels, they have to use in order for them to be more specific, okay? But what we didn't have, we didn't have these options of uh, targeting with expand button options. For sure, I'm not going to, to tell you to uh, use this with specific area and expand unless if there is a super specific reason for that. Uh, but for sure here you can say, for example, that my audience is older because I'm selling anti-aging creams. Okay, let's say that this is our example. So people, women started using it from here. I'm going to use 35 to 65 and I'm going to expand it also, but I'm going to start as a suggestion from here. And over here, I'm going to use only women and I'm not going to expand it. Do you understand how big is this? How big of a difference it makes? Because now you can just go and you can put demographics that make more sense. Of course, this is going to go like this and it will say that you don't use Advantage Plus, but I cannot use Advantage Plus yet. I'm having, I'm having a new pixel, it's a baby. It doesn't understand who to target, okay? So over here, we're having these options that we can use in a different way, training our pixel, or we can break down our results, for example, initially, and we can understand which hot pockets we're actually targeting right now, and we can focus more on them. Of course, we can use the expand button in order for us to expand to further audiences, but we can start from something that makes more sense. It's like the blender method that we have, that we're using interest and lookalikes. This is the only way that I was thinking of actually being more specific in some specific ad accounts. But for sure now we have more options, okay? And you can put 
these specific A's and Z, and you can do then more detailed targeting. For example, you can put Andy AIDS. Do we have something like this? Nah. Uh, let's say skincare, which most likely it has. Okay, so we have skincare over here, and we have this one, and now we have skincare which is having 37 to 43 million with women only without expansion. If we expand it over here, we can see that this is on and then it goes to the full potential reach. And uh, if we come here also, we can see that if we don't, it's doing that. Okay, so we can come here for the age also. We can start from another age, let's say for 47, for example, whatever that may be without the expansion. Again, it's going to be 1821. With the expansion, it's going to go to the 43 because we're not expanding here. here. And we can play with the audience sizes like this, but also based on results. So if we start running uh, one campaign with our initial thought, because a lot of times I meet owners that they say, the age that I want to target is 45, 65 plus. And then we run ads and we see that we have sales also on 40 years old, for example. Um, I think that what you should do is you should start from the thing that you think that makes sense. And then based on results, you are going to be able to be more specific and then expand. I wouldn't expand men and women, okay? Unless if you are selling, for example, t-shirts and you see that, for example, in this specific brand, we do have that. If we break down the results, we're going to see that uh, if we do it by gender, you will see that we do have sales over here also the female, but mostly it's coming from, from the male side, okay? So here you can start from male and expand the button. If we had zero sales because it's makeup, for example, as in our example, you can put only female and don't expand. For the ages, for example, if we break down the results on the ages over here, because remember, our goal over here is to train our pixel in the most cost efficient way. We can see 3544, it's having the most spent, 2534 again over here, and then we're having also some decent spend to the 4554. So I'm guessing it's going 25 to 54 and expanding to the other audiences, okay? So here is our core audience, and then we can expand also with this expand button. The new pixels are going to be easier to get trained like this because we're going to be able to put stops and all of that, and we're going to be able to train them in the most cost-efficient way because now we have more control training new pixels like this. I think it's a very good change. I think it's going to be positive for the new pixels, and I think that eventually when they're uh, ready, we can just run broad targeting advanced plus with full expansion and don't care about anything and have the results that we uh, need because we're going to have a trained pixel. If you're having a new pixel, don't be afraid. Be more specific over there on the targeting. And I think that you're going to be fine. Throw more energy to your creative since you are solving this problem and you're going to be fine training your pixel. Remember, the ultimate goal of each account is to go to broad targeting eventually, but you have to do it in the most cost efficient way so that you're not going to lose money if you don't have a very big investor, which is just telling you spend money until it's going to get trained. I will see you for the closing of the video. When I heard about the change from advanced shopping campaigns to advanced sales campaigns and the new UI change and all of that, uh, the first thing that I thought it, it was that it's going to be even more difficult for the new pixels uh, comparing to the past, but I was wrong because basically they thought of that or maybe they did this change because they were having problem with the new pixels, I don't know. And uh, they have done all of these settings that are helping us a lot to train the pixels in the most cost efficient way. I think it's a good thing because it's giving us more control. You know that the more control that I have, because I know how to use it, uh, it's better for me. And uh, I think that we can have better results like this, but for sure Meta goes into a period that they would like to automate everything. I do believe that they did this only for the new pixels, so that it's not going to be super discouraging for new people to start. Uh, on the other hand, they didn't have another option. As I said in my previous example, if you had a makeup company, you would have to target men and women at the same time. Now with this new change, you're going to be able to target only women, which makes sense, especially if you have a new pixel. If your pixel is trained, it's going to target anyway only women, but it was a problem for the new pixels and now it was fixed with that way. We lost the advanced shopping campaign, we have new things. Meta is always keeping us 
you know, in our toes and uh, we're trying to find a new thing that's working and uh, we have always a change and the change and the change. So it's a very challenging world. This is why if you want to learn more, you can check my book, you can check my course and all the things that I have inside that are going to help you train your pixel if it's new or they're going to help you scale more if your pixel is trained and you are actually scaling. Super advanced strategies, but also beginner strategies theory but also loom videos for execution on real spend ad accounts between my ad accounts that i'm spending between 5 and 10 million every month 40 ad accounts plus every month and in all of these ad accounts i'm actually showing you what is working and what doesn't work so that you know what is relevant or what is not relevant right now we have the reviews below with all the people that they have completed the course and how they loved it and uh, we also have my mentorship programs where you can go and we can do one-on-one -on -one sessions i cannot promise you a spot right now because it's q4 uh, and most spots are filled but uh, maybe we can find a solution uh, send me a message and we will see until we meet again guys be creative and be consistent